Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as I continue to try to patch up the wall fence. I'm not really sure where I'm going right now. I'm trying to avoid traps, which is probably not gonna happen. I do have a trinket that gives me perception, but I'm not using it because... Why, why am I not using it? Where the hell is it? It's this one. It re decreases my armor, which is fine. We will uh, just look for traps, I guess. Yeah, traps. Traps. We found traps at the end of last episode. So for now, we are just looking around. I think every time you patch the fence, apparently new Lieutenant, whatever his name is, I don't remember, um, we'll be able to patch us into another little bit of radio that we're going to be able to listen to. Because we have, we have patched three different spots in the fence. And um, let me just... Uh, so yeah, that's our last location or last objective. So yeah, we've patched three different spots, and we've been uh, we've heard three different um, three different uh, radio transmissions of uh, from enemies. So let me just bring back bring back my normal attire right there and use this badass sniper rifle, the Sabra Marie, which I'm not sure if that's Spanish or what, because Marie is a name, but isn't isn't it Maria? For Maria for for Spanish. I think it is I'm Pretty sure that it is. Um, so I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's French mm. Sabra, Sabra doesn't sound French to me. Does it? I don't think he does to me. He doesn't. Okay, so let's see. Where are these guys? Come on guys. Oh Oh, I thought for a moment they were goats, but they are not goats. They are pooches. Let's take a headshot to the pooch's face. There we go. One shot, one kill, 220 damage. Because this does a hell of a lot of damage. So I'll move over here. Not over there. Over here. Yeah. And now I'll be able to ambush whoever appears. And nobody appears, which is kind of bad. So let's go over there. Try to avoid Vax, of course. And there we go. One shot, one kill. And we got another pooch coming our way. He's going to be punched in the face. By Lex Cronium, Lex Canium, whatever his name is, I always forget. Uh, let's see. So from here, actually, I could take a burst. Yeah, let's go with a burst here. Hopefully, I will hit twice. There we go. Not that bad. And from here, I have line of sight on that guy. And I have a line of sight on that guy again. There you go. And now, he lost control, but it's fine. There you go. And he's going to move a little bit further, probably. Let's hope that Vax doesn't lose control. Let's see what he does. What is that, by the way? Is that a, just a, a normal honey badger? I think it is. Yeah, it is. It's, it looks like a honey badger. So let's see. I will be able to attack three, t uh, two times this turn, which is kind of a shame. 100% chance to hit the head of that guy. That's fantastic. I will shoot that guy as well. Fantastic. Man, this sniper rifle is like awesome. <laughs> Awesome! This is a awesome, most awesome weapon. Yeah, sniper rifles, sniper rifles. Oh boy! Actually, I, uh, last episode I was talking about uh, you stay back there. Uh, last episode I was talking about my first party in uh, my first ranger party in uh, in Wasteland 2, uh, and I said that I had a, a guy with an SMG. I think that that was the case. I've been thinking about that, but uh, I think it was the case. But I think I also had if not if it wasn't the first time. It was the second time or something that I had two snipers in, in the same team or something. I definitely tried that one. I'm pretty sure I did. But, um, yeah, it doesn't go well early on in the game because you need to buy ammo. And, uh, yeah, it's not. It doesn't go well. It's it's kind of tough. You could save... I don't know. if I We haven't we haven't found any any recruitable NPC that will, that will have a sniper skill. So it's kind of... Eh. But, yeah. I was gonna say that you could save the snipers for another NPC, but maybe not. Since there doesn't appear to be any NPC around that is able to use a sniper. So, let me save the game. Let's look back here, because you never know. Well, as it turns out, I definitely didn't know, because there's something over there. Let's use that one. We're good to go, and also use this thing over here, number three. What is that? Waste of time. Pinky finger. What the hell is a pinky finger? I want to see what that is. Is that a sausage? Looks like a sausage. Uh, not too fresh and not too old. There are no answers here. Only questions. Oh, it's a literal pinky finger. How do you know it's the pinky finger, though? Could be just a... The index finger of a tiny person. Or a person with tiny hands. I have, I have no idea. 
Do, can you tell? I don't think you can tell the difference between the finger. I mean, maybe you're, if you're a biologist or just a physician. Echo one, know your bones. Found another frequency. Don't know who this crank case is. Yet another sure one. shit has a mad on for Matthias. Oh, so they. Near as I can tell, his name is Dugan. Pathetic meatbags of Los Angeles. <laughs> Listen to your overlord. No one can save you from being ground beneath the iron shot feet of my robot army. The Mannerites cannot save you. The God's militia cannot save you. And that lying half man who calls himself Matthias half man. certainly cannot save you. Only immediate and total obedience to my commands will spare you the fate that awaits the rest of humanity. It's utter and complete destruction. I, Dugan, shall rule the future. I, Dugan, shall be master of an Earth free from the poison of all biological life. I will exterminate everything. From the mightiest trees to the smallest microbes, all will be expunged. Until this planet is nothing more than one great roaring factory for the building of more robots. That's right. There is no hope for any of you. But if you want to prolong your miserable lives for as long as I will allow, then bring offerings of steel, iron, wire, electronics, and computers to my factory near the port of Los Angeles and leave them at the edge of the radiation cloud. The generous will be spared. For now. This guy sounds suspiciously like the Overlord, the Zerg Overlord in StarCraft 1. Very, very like that one, but it's just the uh, way the voice is treated. Um, is, is, is not treated is not the word, but you know, processed, processed or something. So we got the fourth group. So, okay, so we have the God's Militia, which is the guys that are saying, talking about sins, everybody's sinful and just a bunch of bull crap. Uh, we got uh, the guys that uh, want everybody to become a half robot or half man, as the robots very wittingly refer to Matthias anyway. Uh, we got the guys that want everybody to be polite to each other, which I very much like, I must say. I like those guys. They sound like, sound like a little bit crazy. They definitely do. But, you know, craziness is not necessarily a bad thing. And we have the robots, and apparently they kind of want to kill everything. They seem to think that um, life on Earth is not to be, and they want it to become a barren wasteland uh, like the moon, I guess, or something, or some other planet here in the solar system. Let's see. Uh, is there going to be a fifth group? Or are we going to... Because as it stands, I think we're going to need to kill at least three of those. Well, that's that. Echo 1, this is Enemy Base. Go ahead. Uh, we've secured the perimeter. Over. 10-4, Echo 1. Perimeter secured. Well done. That'll make it a whole lot more likely we'll still be here when the support team shows up. If they ever do. If they ever do, yeah, I was going to say. Uh, listen. Echo 1. One more thing. I... I think Captain Carlson is getting pretty close to... A retirement. Yeah. You might want to return to base before he goes. Santa Fe base out. Team Echo 1 out. We are on the way. On move OM. How do you say on OM? On, I, I think there's... Oh, man. I, I remember hearing something like... You got um, Roger that. Uh, Roger Roger is the R for received. And that, of course, you're going to see... That, that It's kind of a mix. The Roger that is kind of a mix, uh, a mix of, uh, you know, the uh, military alphabet and just the word that. Which is kind of weird, but it's just... It's just how it is, but on move, on move, uh, is it on point? On move OM, it's gonna, I don't, I don't remember. My, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember. So where do we need to go? We need to go over there. We need to go over there, we are kind of lost. We are lost children of the wasteland. Children of the wasteland, where is that? I remember, nah, I'm, I'm thinking of the children of the cathedral. That's a completely different thing. Yeah, I don't think children, maybe Mad Max? Nah. Nah, there's... Nah. Unless Mad, Mad, Mad Max 3? There's something like that? I don't think there is. Pretty sure there's not. It's been a while since I watched that one. I heard... I watched the first two movies, the first two Mad Max movies in, in, in this year. Or this... And I, I guess this episode is gonna come in 2016 already. So I guess last year. <laughs> if you're watching this in 2016. 
but uh, so I can remember. Uh, Rangers, there you are. There you are, Dave. So, are you dying? Uh, Rangers, there you are. Yeah, I seem to be dying. Your short-term memory. About time you uh, closed those gaps. Wasn't sure I was gonna hold on till you were through. Now, anything you want to ask before I cash in my chips? Our mission here in Los Angeles, for instance, or maybe you want to know about our chopper going down in Seal Beach and the whole crew with it. Yeah, so tell me about the... what do you know about Seal Beach? Heard the same thing you heard in Arizona. The flyover, the robots, the missile. Sent a team south on foot to try and find them. Ran into heavy radiation. Had to turn back. Maybe you'll find some way through. We didn't get the chance. How strong is the radiation? Strong. Even with the rad suits, Captain Mayor Captain, provided the radiation was too intense. You're gonna need to reestablish contact with Ranger Citadel and talk to Mayor Captain in order to figure out a new plan. Okay, um, that's two ways of saying Mayor Captain right there, but it's fine. Um, so what can you tell me about the missile? I'm afraid I don't know any more than you do. I thought all the missiles were used up in the war. What happened to the chopper crew? Guessing they're all dead. Tried to uh, raise the damn chopper on the radio. No answer. Not a goddamn peep. And uh, what do you know about the robots? They're ruthless. Even more so than humans. You gotta find out what their end game is. Okay, so what's the mission? Pretty basic. First off, you're gonna need to upgrade your rad suits in order to make your way around California. So ask Woodson for the details. Second, hook up a repeater unit to the radio tower at Griffith so we can re-establish a contact with Citadel Base. Third, find out what you can about the broadcasts we heard in AZ. And <laughs> determine their threat level. Fourth, find a way to get to Seal Beach. Find out what happened to Team Foxtrot and get the bastards who did it. And last but not least, help the locals spread the name and fame of the Desert Rangers. Let people know we are a force for good in this rotten world. Hell yeah, we are. Hang on there, killer. Just... Sorry, boys. I think I'm checking out. Hurts like damn, damn it, but... Would be in the same grave as my men. We died together. <laughs> Adios, Captain. Lieutenant Wade Woodson. What? Oh, I know this. It's a sad day, Rangers. He says, "Never knew a man more alive than old Killer Car Carlson." Damn. Listen, I'll take care of burying him and all that. Carlson gave you your marching orders before he died, so let's get to it. You need to hook up a repeater unit to the t radio tower in Griffith. It's the strongest signal in the region. We need it in order to reach the Citadel back in Arizona. Unfortunately, Griffith lies beyond the northern radiation wall, and your rad suits are just not gonna cut it. Before we left, Arizona Mer Captain taught me a technique to upgrade rad suits using cat leader. I'm going to need as much cat leader as you can find. To be precise, I need at least 56 pounds of it. That's roughly 7 bags of leader. Getting to that tower and re-establishing re comms with Ranger Citadel is also the key, reaching to key the key to reaching Seal Beach and finding out what happened to Foxtrot Team. Seal Beach lies beyond the so southern radiation wall, which has even more intense radiation than the northern wall. Mark Captain mentioned that uh, that for radiation levels that deadly, we need to get our hands on some medical grade zeolite, not the low grade stuff you can find in cat later. Lucky for us, we've been hearing some radio chatter from Griffith, from a group of uh, that calls themselves the God's Militia, and it sounds like they're stockpiling zeolite for themselves. You've already be, uh, you'd already be in the neighborhood, so if you could strike a bargain with them for the zeolite, you'd be killing two birds with one stone. I just need to discuss the details with Mercaffin so I can upgrade your red suits with the good stuff and send you safely past the southern radiation wall. All the meanwhile, you'll need to keep tracking down all the other crazies behind the broadcasts we've been getting and, and assess, assess this threat level. And last but not least, help the locals and spread the name of the fame of the Desert Rangers. I know that's asking a lot of you, Echo Team, but Rangers don't complain, we just get the job done. Before you go, you're gonna need these. The key I gave you will unlock the chains of the Sodden Gate. Don't lose it. 
That's the only spare copy I have. I'll make sure to lock up after you are gone. Wouldn't want any more dogs to get in. I gave you a total of three repeated units. You only need one for the tower in Griffith, but if you can hook up the other two to any other local transmission in the area, it would help boost our local broadcasting range and, even, and let even more people know that we are here to help. Speaking of which, before you wander too far away, let's do a radio check of a couple miles out. If um, we've got a good enough signal, I'll start letting LA know we're here and ready to help. Okay, so what do you know about the locals so far? We passed over lots of small farms and communities as we flew into Los Angeles, all heavily fortified. If they're building walls, then they're defending themselves against something. And if they're defending themselves against something, we've got a job to do. I'll call you as soon as I start picking up distress calls. Until then, just get out of there and uh, just get out there and do your best for whoever you meet. Uh, so which crazies do you mean? Sadly, the strongest signals seem to be coming from the most dangerous sounding camp, those God's militia people to the north of here. Then we have uh, those broadcasts from Matthias, Dugan, the Mannerites. Oh, Mannerites. Oh, that's like manner? You have manners? <laughs> yeah, I, th I thought that sounded like manner but when I first heard that. Just now I'm beginning to, um, you know, come to understand what that name is all about. And Heidi from Hollywood. Heidi? I don't remember. The Who the hell is Heidi from Hollywood? Okay, so what should we look for? Uh, uh, where should we look for the remains of Foxtrot team? Uh, they went down in Seal Beach, which is to the southwest of here. No idea what kind of trouble they're going to find once you get past the southern radiation wall, but that's where we need to look. Okay, so you want us to collect Cat Leader. Yeah, I know. Cat Leader contains zeolite, which can be used to soak up radiation from air as it passes through it. It will be perfect for your breathing masks. Just try to get uh, uh, unused later if you can. Oh, okay. I will try to do that. I kind of forgot that uh, that's there's the kind of leader that uh, that uh, is not used. So that guy bled out. He wasn't bleeding before, but now he's, he's bleeding bled out. He dead. He dead. So we are not. Let's keep going. So we don't have medical assistance, which is kind of a big deal right now. Hopefully we will, but uh, not as far as I can tell. So we're going south. We're going that way over there. So let's try and go there right now, because we need to get out of here. We're going to test the radio, I think. So we have a bunch of objectives, but most of them can be accomplished by just wandering around, especially considering, like, three of them are just helping people. Uh, we need to uh, get rat suits. We need to attach the repeater unit to a local thing. But I think the first thing we are going to need to do is find some cat leader so we can upgrade our suits. And the suits that we're wearing right now, I don't really know where they are. I... Apparently they are not here. Okay. Uh, remember when we first got them? Out of uh, that um, RC van or something? I'm not sure. Is, is it RC van or is it just RC? I'm not sure what RC even means. You know, rover caravan. No, roving caravan? Motor caravan? MC? No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's open this thing. Open this thing. Oh, I need to use... Damn it. Oh, where the hell's the key? I gotta have the key somewhere. God damn it. I never know. Is the key anywhere here? Does it, oh, is that, like, special? No, it's not. Actually, it's... 5% chance... 10% uh, evasion. Where the hell's the key? Let me open this thing. Come on. Where the hell? I have, I have to have the key somewhere around here. Unless I need to test that, I'll look into my journal in a little bit. Just looking for the key. Just looking for the key in a little bit. Let me... Give me a second here, please. I don't think it's here. But it could be. Oh, there's the key. There's the key. Use that over there. And we're good to go. Hopefully I won't lose it. I don't know how I'd lose it, but still. Hopefully I won't lose it. There we go. Success in opening a lock. This guy. This guy. Oh, so we're not going... Oh, maybe we are going back into the wasteland. Because I thought we were going into the building. But maybe not. Let me just save the game before we do that. And uh, so everything's good. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Copy. Appreciate the update. Okay. See you later then. Gather your squad. Yes, please. So yeah, it's all green. Before it was all red, this thing. And now it's all green. Very cool. <gasps> okay, so now... Yeah. 
yeah, you guys, you guys don't see that as often unless you're playing the game for yourself. But remember the big robot right at the beginning of the game, right at the first episode, the big scorpion-like robot that moves. Yeah, that robot is now going to appear in this area. But this, I am out in the middle of nowhere, so I don't, and I don't even know where I should go. Apparently, there's radiation around. Ranger team, Echo One, come in. Echo One, do you read me? Uh, we read you loud and clear. Over. 10-4, Echo One. Good copy on this end, too. Looks like our signal is a go. Time to start letting the locals know that the Desert Rangers are on the scene and ready to make a difference. Stand by for announcement on all channels. Attention, citizens of Los Angeles. This is the Desert Rangers. We are here to bring law to this lawless land and justice to the downtrodden. If you are in trouble, if you are persecuted or under attack, we are here to help. Our frequency is 1144. Hail us there and we will come. That is a promise. That is not that intelligence of you to say, man. That's not... I'm not sure what is... I, I'm, I'm sure everything is going to be fine. <laughs> um, but it's not... It's like... Oh, so we have some guys... Some, some guys that are pretending to be like... The new police around here, they're calling this land lawless land, for instance, foremost, and they want to bring justice. Okay, so let's call them here and kill them all. So, maybe the first the first uh, call for help is going to be just exactly that. We'll see. Desert Rangers out. Well, there it is, Rangers. Now we'll sit back and see who pops their head up. In the meantime, and if anybody responds to our call, I'll let you know. Sorry about that click. Uh, so he said, since we've got l some long range ears now, feel free to carry on your mission. Santa Fe base out. Bye bye, Santa Fe base. So we gained a another bunch of experience. Copy, Ranger. Congratulations, Echo One. So leveling up as well. Hopefully nothing went bad with that one. It's the first time I'm leveling up out here in the wasteland. Let me save the game here. So I see something to the south. I don't suppose any. Why can't I go down there? Oh, I just need to right click. Uh, you a vendor? Sure, let's investigate. The f last vendor that we met was like, so he didn't really sell anything awesome, but at least, at least he had a bunch of dialogue. So let's have a chat with this one. It's the first vendor we find. It's the first thing we find out here. Yeah, these guys, wastelanders. We got Patrick Klempner. What the hell? What kind of name is that, man? Welcome! Come and take a look. Only our very best merchandise. Okay, so yeah, this is the normal the normal vendor that um Oh. Huh. <laughs> That's interesting. I guess I'll take that. I guess I'll take that. Uh let's see, let me sell you all my junk. And by junk I'm, I mean actually really nut sacks. That's the junk I'm selling you right now. Um and besides that, I could go for a bunch of these stuff. Uh, but I don't think I need that for right now. We'll get by. We'll get by. So, thanks for the help. See you later, man. See you later. You guys are very well equipped with your... With your, um, energy weapons and stuff like that. So let's get the hell out of here. You could you could kill them. Yeah, I tried that on my own playthrough. And uh, it's it works. You can kill them. But it, uh, they don't really have the loot that they sell. So it's not... There's no real point in doing that. Let me just give this to you. No, oh, leadership is so nice. But then again, combat initiative is so good as well. And your skill... Yeah, well, you're gonna keep that one. Because he doesn't really need the action points. He needs the initiative more. Way more than the action points. So, that's why I'm... Uh, I'm considering giving it to him. So, the game's saved right there. Let's continue going south. I'm really not sure where I'm going, so I'm just kind of exploring right now. Let's see what we have here. Los Alamitos. So... Wait a minute. Before I go there, let me look at my... No, I can't look at my notes from here. Oh, damn it. Uh, don't tell me. Okay, let's explore a little bit more. I guess that's fine. We don't really need Echo water. One, this is Santa Fe base. Come in. This is Echo 1. Go ahead, over. 10-4, Echo 1. Looks like we've got our first call back. Small settlement south of our base is requesting assistance dealing with strange men raiding their food supply. Proceed to location ASAP, but approach with caution. Call reports attackers are armed and there are casualties. Copy? Good copy, over. 10-4, Echo 1, and listen. Echo 1, you never get a second chance to make a first impression, so, uh, 
Don't fuck it up, alright? Hmm. Send the coordinates to you now. So not Los Alamitos. I guess we're going to Carritos now. Carritos. Uh, a traveling vendor. Okay, let's investigate that one as well. Now let's let's keep let's keep for right now. We need to go to Carritos over there. So right click to go there. Los Alamitos will be for later. And over here, I am just gonna. Yeah, we don't have water right now, so we don't need water. Um, enter. Yes, please. And in here, I look at my journal because that's what I was trying to do before. So, the game saved. We got uh, friendly people here. An old farm woman. Is that a woman? Yeah, it is a woman. Um, it's sad woman. I, was, I knew it was a woman. But, uh, okay. So, looks like a fairly harmless place. Very chill. Very cool. Very nice. Let's look at our journal and get acquainted with what we are. I'm pre pressing all the wrong keys. It's the L key. So, logbook. Ongoing. So, I need to upgrade red suits. Oh, did my old... Oh, my old quests kind of went away. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, fantastic. Um, so we need to upgrade the red suits. We need to find cat leader. We need to re-establish contact with the Citadel base in Arizona. That's uh, we need to find cat leader first. Investigate the attack on Team Foxtrot. Yeah, I, I need to go there as well. Uh, but this is Lieutenant says we might be able to get us past the South one. And yeah, we need we need just to find cat leader. I think that's our most pressing objective. Let me just save the game and let's talk with this woman and see what she has to say. A lonesome farmhouse that looks like it, it was once the office of a car dealership and a barn that looks like it was a repair shop. The car lot has reverted to pasture land, but there are no cows and part of the fence has been torn down. Actually, I was hearing cows. How the hell are there no, are there, are there no cows? Who the fuck are you? I was, I was expecting the Mannerites. A hard-beaten woman in overall limps to, up to you cautiously. Her leg is bandaged and she carries a shotgun. Are you here about the fucking cyborgs? So, you've got a problem with the cyborgs? Those metal motherfuckers. They killed my husband and shot me in the leg. A bunch of guys with the robot arms and legs. They said we were under the protection of Matthias and therefore we had to pay him a tithe fee? Whatever the fuck, the fuck that is. Then they went down on the barn and started stealing our cows. That's when Trey and me started shooting. Unfortunately, they shot back and fuck, they got some serious firepower. Blue poor Trey's head clean off. I limped back to the house and got on the radio. They shot up our windows, then headed south. So where are your cows now? Last time I stuck my head out, the cyborgs were hurting them south. Maybe if you're quick, you can catch them. And I sure would appreciate you getting our cows back. So you've heard of Matthias? We hear him all the time. Squawking on the radio about his golden future bullshit. But we never made any kind of protection deal with this gang. They've got no rights to take our cows. Okay, so we're desert rangers, ma'am. There's the Rangers? Never heard of you, but if you're here to help, then I'm all for you. The Mannerites are a big help when there's trouble. They're annoying as fuck. I don't know what I would do without them cows. Okay, so we heard cows. We are looking west right now. I guess south is this way. Let's uh, save the game again, and let's get going, because we need to find those robots. Oh, wait a minute. It's not this south that she's talking about. It's actually on the world. Maybe in Los Al Alamitos or something? I I don't know. Who knows? Let's just uh, dig up this stuff. Robber blind. And we'll be out of her hair soon enough. Let's just look. Some nut sacks. Some scrap. And some energy cells. Very nice. What do we have over here? The sign says Teak Town. And I saw something here. What is that? 77% chance to succeed. No alarm. It shouldn't be too problematic. Hopefully you don't critically fail. There we go. Ooh. That's good. That's really good. Most of us don't have any luck, so that's really, really nice. Oh, that's even better. That is even better, lady. This is fantastic. Let me take a look at that. So, we have this thing here. This increases evasion and chance to hit by 5%. This one increases critical chance, so... Eh! I mean... Shh, luck. How how's your luck, girl? Luck, luck. We have two, so that's not too good. So, yeah, and that will decrease your event. I I mean, she doesn't need critical uh, critical chance or hit to hit chance. So meh. Let's go. I don't know. Rose could go for that one. Actually, Rose could. It's a good it's a good thing there, but 
Let's see what Rose has. So Rose is now having a 9.8 damage per action point gun. This one is 15.3 and uses the same... No, it doesn't use the same ammo. It uses 0.45. So it's kind of a big deal there. So let's use that one over there. Equip this thing. Actually, bring this one over there. And let's... No, not that one. And uh, let's... Do... Actually, I'll do this off camera. Because we are coming up on the end of the episode anyway. So there's more people around. There's a guard. Actually... I think the... Oh, there's more people around. So I guess we'll talk to them in the next one. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.